Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Alicia and I make sewing and DIY fashion videos. So today I'm going to be attempting for my first time making men's clothing. I usually make very girly and frilly and sweet designs but today I'm going to be making a velvet bomber jacket. Of course men and women can wear bomber jackets really up to your own style. To stay true to my aesthetic, I'm going to add a bit of detailing to the sleeves and add some ruching. For the pattern, I'm going to be using a free downloadable pattern by Mood Fabrics. I'll put the link of the one that I used in the description box. It's free for anyone to use and they also have instructions on their site. Honestly, they're not the clearest, so hopefully this video helps. <laughs> so what you'll need is about 1.5 meters of fabric and also one meter of the lining. You're also gonna need some rib knit fabric for the cuffs, the collar, and also for the waistband. So yeah, let's go on ahead and start with the tutorial. So start by cutting out the pattern to your size. To make the ruched sleeves, we'll need to lengthen the sleeve. So what I did is divide the sleeves into four, and then I added two inches at those markings. So in total, I lengthened the sleeve by six inches. Now place the pattern pieces onto the fabric and cut it out. And I'll give you two front pieces, one back piece, and two sleeves. I also cut two little rectangles that are three by six inches. Also cut up the fabric for the lining, but for this one, we're gonna use the original sleeve pattern. So we have a back piece, two front pieces, and two sleeves. The pattern didn't come with pockets, so we're gonna make our own. Put some pattern paper on the front bodice pattern and trace the side. And then make a eight by 6.5 inch rectangle. And then just curve out the corner into a pocket shape. And you'll need to cut four of these out of the lining fabric. For the channels to make the ruching, we'll need four rectangles that are two inch wide and the same length as the velvet sleeve. We're also going to need to make some ties. Since they'll be inside and won't show, you can use any fabric you want. And we'll need eight of these that are one inch wide and the same length as the sleeve lining. I'll start by sewing the channels. I marked where I want them to be, and then I place the channels on top and sew down the middle and both sides to create two little tunnels each. Minor space at half an inch and repeat this for both sleeves. Now for the ties, I fold them in half and sew it at a quarter inch with a zigzag stitch. Since these will be invisible from the outside, we don't need to flip them inside out, so just cut off the extra fabric and we got eight little ties. And now we just gotta thread them through the channels. Add a safety pin and guide the tie until it reaches the end. Repeat that for the second, third, and fourth channel. And then just sew the ends to secure the ties in place, and here are the ruched sleeves. Now we're going to add pockets to the jacket. Place the pocket right sides together to the front and sew the sides. Turn the pocket and top stitch the edge down to prevent it from rolling out. You'll also want to do this to the back of the jacket as well. Next, place the front and back right sides together and sew the shoulder seams. Open up the jacket and align the shoulder seam and the middle of the sleeve together and pin the sleeve all around the armhole. Now that the sleeves are attached, place the front and back jacket right sides together and sew the sleeve, side seams, and pocket. So I sew the bottom of the pocket, the curve, the side seam, and then all the way down the sleeve. I also sewed down one inch of the bottom of the pocket and then also sewed it towards the front of the jacket the pocket is done. Next, make the lining jacket as well. So just repeat the same steps as the velvet jacket. Sew the shoulder seams, sew the sleeves, and the side seams. 
One thing I'll be adding to the lining is my custom clothing tags. I ordered these off of Etsy and has my potential brand name, Yanali, which is essentially my name mashed up together. So I seam ripped a tiny part of the side seam and placed a tag inside. And then I just sew it back up and there we go. I'll be adding these to everything I make now. So now we have finished the velvet jacket and the lining. Basically all that's left to do is to add the ribbing. So basically like the collar, the cuffs, and like the waistband. But for some reason, ribbing is so expensive. Like you just need a tiny bit of it. But at my fabric store, it was $20 a meter. So I decided to just go to the thrift store and I found this perfect sweater. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it has a ribbed collar ribbed cuffs and also some ribbing at the waistband so this is perfect i'm just gonna use this and cut it up here's the ripping parts you'll need for the waistband i cut it to be the waist measurement minus four inches and we're gonna add the little velvet rectangles to it i placed the right sides together and sewed the side Flip it and add a top stitch to keep it in place. For the cuffs, mark four equal points on the cuff and same thing for the sleeve and then pin those together. Stretch the cuffs as you sew so that everything is sewn together evenly. And here's the cuff. And now for the waistband, pin the middle to the center back and then pin it evenly across the hem and sew it. For the collar, I cut it in half, then I cut the edges into a curve like this. Pin the right sides together to the neckline and sew. And here's the collar. And last thing to do is to attach the lining to the rest of the jacket. I learned how to make it so that there are no seams visible from the outside. I saw this in a video by Made by Aya. Basically, you fold up the collar and the waistband, and then you place the lining right sides together to the velvet jacket and pin it to the collar and the waistband. So basically, the ribbing will be sandwiched between the lining and the velvet, and once you flip it, the seams will all be on the inside. The cuffs is a bit of the confusing part, so once the jacket is back to its right side, you want to bring back the sleeves inside out, fold in the cuff, fold in a bit of the sleeve lining like this, and insert it into the velvet sleeve. And then you just sew it all around. Flip the sleeves inside out, and then we have some beautiful clean seams. The last thing to do is to add the zipper. I start by sewing it to the lining, it should look like this. Then I fold and iron the seam allowance of the velvet fabric and pin it evenly to the zipper like this. Top stitch it down, and we're done. Here's a final transformation. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please let me know down in the comments down below which part of the bomber jacket is your favorite. Me personally, I like the sleeves a lot, especially with the velvet and just how it reflects differently in the light. I just find it so pretty. So yeah, follow me on to my Instagram and my TikTok at Ali Jensen for more sewing content. 
and subscribe to this channel, of course, for more videos, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!